Imagine this. What if our reality is not as linear as we perceive it to be? Welcome, dear listeners, to a journey into the mind-bending world of quantum mechanics, a realm where the traditional rules of reality are challenged and redefined. Our story begins with the concept of quantum jumps, or quantum leaps. Now, these aren't the quantum leaps you might have heard in science fiction. These leaps are fundamental yet controversial aspects of quantum mechanics. They describe the peculiar behavior of electrons in an atom as they transition between energy levels. But here's the kicker. The electrons don't traverse the intermediate states. They don't climb an energy ladder step by step like you'd expect. Instead, they jump or leap directly from one energy level to another, seemingly bypassing the spaces in between. It's like teleporting from the ground floor of a building to the top floor without passing through the floors in between. You might ask, how is this even possible? Well, that's the thing about quantum mechanics. It doesn't play by the same rules as classical physics. It's a bit like stepping into Wonderland where the impossible becomes possible and the improbable probable. This concept of quantum jumps was pivotal in the early 20th century as it challenged the then understanding of the physical world and its laws. It sparked significant debates among key physicists, leading to a revolution in our understanding of the universe. Two figures central to these debates were Niels Bohr and Erwin Schrödinger. These two titans of quantum mechanics had differing views on the nature of these quantum jumps, leading to a fascinating discourse that would shape the future of quantum theory. Niels Bohr, the Danish physicist, was a proponent of the idea of quantum jumps. On the other hand, Schrödinger, the Austrian physicist, was skeptical about the physical realism of these leaps. Their debates and discussions paved the way for a new understanding of the quantum world. This idea, pivotal from the early 20th century, sparked significant debate among key physicists, including Niels Bohr and Erwin Schrödinger, and so begins our journey into quantum jumping, a journey that promises to challenge your understanding of reality. Niels Bohr in 1913 proposed a model that shook the foundations of physics. This was a time when the scientific world was grappling with the mysterious behavior of tiny particles at the heart of matter. Bohr, a Danish physicist, introduced the idea that electrons exist in specific energy levels around the nucleus of an atom akin to planets orbiting the sun. According to his model, these electrons could only occupy certain quantized energy levels. They could not exist in between these levels. Rather, they'd exhibit a behavior that was more of a quantum leap, jumping from one energy level to another. When this happened, Bohr theorized, they either emitted or absorbed a photon, the basic unit of light, corresponding to the energy difference between the two levels. This was a game-changing idea. It provided a satisfying explanation for a phenomenon that had puzzled scientists for years the emission spectra of hydrogen. When hydrogen gas is excited and then relaxed, it emits light at specific wavelengths, creating a unique pattern of spectral lines. Bohr's model neatly accounted for this pattern, as each line corresponded to a photon emitted by an electron jumping between energy levels. However, the model wasn't without its limitations. While it worked beautifully for hydrogen, the simplest of all elements, it stumbled when it came to explaining the spectra of more complex elements. It was a bit like a key that fits perfectly into one lock but fails to open any others. Yet, despite this shortcoming, the importance of Bohr's model cannot be overstated. It was a crucial stepping stone, a piece of the puzzle that would eventually form the picture of quantum mechanics. It paved the way for the groundbreaking work of other physicists, such as Werner Heisenberg and Erwin Schrödinger, who would further refine and expand on Bohr's ideas. Bohr's model laid the groundwork for quantum mechanics, alongside contributions from scientists like Heisenberg and Schrödinger. It was a significant milestone in our quest to understand the strange and wonderful world of the very small, where the conventional rules of physics give way to the weird and wonderful laws of quantum mechanics. Bohr and Heisenberg developed an interpretation that proposed a radical idea. This idea, known as the Copenhagen Interpretation, threw conventional physics into a tailspin. It suggested that the transitions of quantum states are intrinsically unpredictable, a concept as bewildering as it was revolutionary. The Copenhagen interpretation postulates that an electron in an atom exists in all its theoretically possible states simultaneously. However, when measured, the electron collapses into one of these potential states. 
This strange behavior of quantum particles, where they seem to exist in a superposition of states until observed, is at the heart of this interpretation. In essence, the act of measurement, according to Bohr and Heisenberg, forces the particle to relinquish all other potential states and adopt one. This suggests that the nature of reality at the quantum level is inherently uncertain and random. A particle's state isn't determined until it's measured. This interpretation was met with frustration and skepticism by some of the greatest minds of the time. Albert Einstein, for one, famously disagreed, stating, God does not play dice. Einstein believed that the universe followed predictable laws, not random happenstances. Erwin Schrödinger, another prominent physicist, also expressed his doubts about the physical realism of quantum jumps. He devised the famous thought experiment known as Schrödinger's cat to illustrate the absurdity of the Copenhagen interpretation. In this experiment, a cat is both dead and alive until observed, mirroring the superposition of states in quantum particles. Yet, despite its detractors, the Copenhagen interpretation has remained one of the most widely accepted explanations of quantum mechanics. It provides an understanding of the world that, while counterintuitive to our everyday experiences, aligns with experimental evidence. The Copenhagen interpretation thus became a controversial standpoint in the quantum physics community. As we delve deeper into quantum theory, it continues to challenge our understanding of reality and provoke lively debate among physicists. It's a testament to the ever-evolving nature of scientific exploration, where even the most ingrained beliefs are subject to question and revision. By the 1980s, technology had advanced enough to allow scientists to observe quantum jumps. This breakthrough, a result of the relentless pursuit of knowledge, opened new doors to understanding quantum mechanics. The 1980s saw the advent of experiments that trapped atoms using lasers, a technique that allowed for the observation of quantum jumps in action. This was a significant step in the quest to understand the enigmatic behavior of electrons. The quantum jumps, as observed, appeared to be random in nature, mirroring the randomness suggested by the Copenhagen interpretation. An electron would seemingly transition from one energy level to another without any observable intermediate states, like a character in a video game teleporting from one location to another without traversing the space in between. Yet as much as these experiments revealed, they also deepened the mystery. While the transitions seemed random, their instantaneous nature remained unconfirmed. The question remained, were these transitions truly instantaneous or was there a continuous process at play that we were yet to fully understand? Fast forward to the present day and we find ourselves in an era where technological advancements have allowed us to delve deeper into the world of quantum jumps. Recent advances now enable scientists to not just observe, but even monitor and interrupt these transitions. What these experiments reveal is fascinating. Rather than an instantaneous leap, as traditionally thought, these transitions appear to be a continuous process. This revelation is akin to peeling back the layers of an onion where each layer reveals a new dimension of complexity and beauty. The electron, it seems, does not simply teleport from one energy level to another, but rather it undergoes a process of transformation. This process of transformation is not unlike a caterpillar metamorphosing into a butterfly. The caterpillar does not simply disappear and reappear as a butterfly. Instead, it undergoes a gradual yet profound transformation within the cocoon. Similarly, the electron, it appears, does not simply jump from one energy level to another, but undergoes a transformation that we are only just beginning to understand. This new understanding of quantum jumps as a continuous process challenges the traditional notion of these transitions as instantaneous leaps. It's as if we've been watching a movie with several frames missing, and we are only now beginning to fill in the gaps. Yet, as with any scientific discovery, each answer only leads to more questions. How does this process of transformation occur? What influences it? And what implications does this have for our understanding of quantum mechanics and the nature of reality itself? These empirical advances have deepened our understanding of quantum jumps, but many mysteries still remain. As we continue to unravel the secrets of the quantum world, we find ourselves on a journey of discovery that is as thrilling as it is enlightening. With each new insight, we move a step closer to understanding the nature of reality and our place within it. Opening. Recent theoretical work has suggested a new perspective on quantum transitions. In the sphere of quantum mechanics, the notion of quantum jumps has long been a subject of intrigue and controversy. 
For a century, these jumps were viewed as abrupt, spontaneous transitions between energy states. But recent theoretical work has started to paint a different picture. These transitions, it seems, may not be fundamentally random, but could instead follow a predictable pattern. This pattern, interestingly, appears to be influenced by the strength of the measuring apparatus. Let's delve a bit deeper into this idea. Picture a quantum system, a minuscule world of atoms and subatomic particles. When we observe this system, we're essentially throwing a spotlight onto it, probing its deepest secrets. The intensity of our observational spotlight, which corresponds to the strength of our measuring apparatus, could potentially affect the way quantum transitions unfold. In other words, it's as if the quantum system is a shy actor on a stage. The intensity of the spotlight, our observation, might influence how the actor performs. If the spotlight is too bright, the actor might falter or change their performance. Conversely, a softer light might allow the actor to perform more naturally. This analogy, albeit a simplification, hints at the possibility that quantum transitions could be somewhat predictable based on the strength of our observation. This idea beautifully blends elements of predictability and randomness, echoing the voices of the past and present in quantum physics. On one hand, it supports the concept of continuous transitions as proposed by Schrödinger. He envisioned quantum jumps not as abrupt leaps, but as smooth, continuous transformations, much like the gradual change of a chameleon's colors or the slow unfurling of a blossom, on the other hand. The idea also resonates with the probabilistic nature endorsed by the Copenhagen interpretation. This interpretation, developed by Bohr and Heisenberg, asserts that quantum state transitions are inherently random. It suggests that the act of measurement collapses the wave function, choosing one reality from a plethora of possibilities. These two seemingly contradictory viewpoints, Schrodinger's continuous transitions and the Copenhagen interpretation's inherent randomness, coexist in this new theoretical perspective. It's as if we're looking at the same painting, but from different angles, each revealing a unique aspect of the whole in essence. The recent theoretical insights into quantum transitions suggest a nuanced dance of predictability and randomness. They hint at a world where the observer and the observed are intricately linked, where the act of observation might subtly shape the course of quantum phenomena. Closing. Thus, the field of quantum mechanics continues to evolve, reflecting ongoing exploration and the quest for understanding the true nature of reality. So, what have we explored today? We embarked on a journey into the quantum world, where the laws of physics as we know them are redefined, and reality takes on an entirely different dimension. We've probed the foundational concept of quantum jumps, a controversial yet pivotal idea in the realm of quantum mechanics. This concept describes the abrupt transitions of electrons within an atom between energy levels without any intermediate states. As we delve deeper, we revisited the early 20th century where key physicists like Niels Bohr and Erwin Schrödinger contributed significantly to our understanding of quantum mechanics. We explored Bohr's model from 1913, which posited that electrons emit or absorb photons corresponding to energy differences when they jump between quantized energy levels. Although this model struggled with more complex elements, it successfully explained hydrogen's emission spectra, laying the groundwork for quantum mechanics. Our journey then took us to the Copenhagen interpretation, developed by Bohr and Heisenberg. This interpretation suggests that quantum state transitions are inherently random, with measurements causing the wave function to collapse. We've also reflected upon Albert Einstein's famous rebuttal, God does not play dice, and Schrodinger's skepticism about the physical realism of quantum jumps. Our exploration then moved into the empirical domain. By the 1980s, advancements in technology enabled scientists to trap atoms using lasers, allowing us to observe quantum jumps in action. While these transitions seemed random, their instantaneous nature remained unconfirmed. Recent advances have gone a step further, enabling us to monitor and even interrupt these transitions, revealing a continuous process rather than an instantaneous leap. Finally, we ventured into recent theoretical insights, which suggest that quantum transitions might not be fundamentally random, but could follow a predictable pattern influenced by the strength of the measuring apparatus. This blend of predictability and randomness supports both continuous transitions as proposed by Schrodinger and the probabilistic nature endorsed by the Copenhagen interpretation. 
Throughout this journey, we've seen how our understanding of quantum mechanics has evolved and how each new discovery has led to more questions than answers. The nature of quantum jumps, whether they're fundamentally random or follow a predictable pattern, remains a topic of ongoing exploration. The quantum world continues to challenge our understanding of reality, presenting us with paradoxes and mysteries that push the boundaries of our comprehension. This journey into the quantum world is far from over. It's a realm filled with wonder and surprise where the impossible becomes possible and the improbable becomes probable. It's a realm that continues to inspire, fascinate and challenge our perception of reality. As we delve deeper into the quantum world, we continue to challenge our understanding of reality. The journey of discovery is far from over.